Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's do an example of how to multiply two complex numbers in polar form. But of course, first we need to convert them into polar form because we're not given the two numbers in polar form. So first we need to find r for the first one. r1 is therefore equal to the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared, which is equal to the square root of 2. Over here, r2 2 is equal to the square root of the square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared, which is equal to the square root of 4, which is equal to 2. And to find the angle, theta is equal to the arctangent of, well, that would be, uh, hmm, let's see here, that would be b, that's minus 1 over 1, which is equal to negative 45 degrees, which is equal to negative pi over 2. Now for the angle on this one, we can say that theta sub 2, and I should call this theta sub 1, is equal to the arctangent of b, which is 1 over the square root of 3. And let's see here, what is that equal to? Mm, I think... 1 divided by square root of 3, take the inverse tangent, yes, 30 degrees. That was equal to 30 degrees, which is equal to pi over 6. All right, now we're ready to multiply both of them in polar form, because now we can say that z1 times z2, which is equal to r1 times r2 times the cosine of theta 1 plus theta 2 plus i times the sine of theta 1 plus theta 2. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So this is equal to r1, which is the square root of 2, times r2, which is 2, times the cosine of theta 1 plus theta 2, which is a minus pi over 2 plus a pi over 6. Wait a minute. That's not pi over 2. This is pi over 4. Oh, don't want to do that. Pi over 4. That's 45 degrees. Plus i times the sine of, and again that would be a minus pi over 4 plus pi over 6. Okay. Now we need to simplify that, and that looks as follows. This is 2 times the square root of 2 times, well, we have a minus pi over 4 plus pi over 6. Common denominator is 12. That's a minus 3 plus 2. So this becomes the cosine of minus pi over 12 plus i times the sine of, and again, that should be the same. That would be minus 3 plus 2 or minus pi over 12. And of course, we can simplify that because the cosine of a negative angle is the same as the cosine of a positive angle. So this could be written as 2 times the square root of 2 times the cosine of pi over 12. And then we can transfer the negative over here, minus i times the sine over 12, of like that. And that would be the end result of the product when it's in polar form. So notice the hardest part was probably converting it to polar form. Once it was in polar form, it's very easy to figure out the product of two complex numbers. Of course, if you don't make a mistake at that point. And that's how it's done.